Hey everyone, this is VHOS 32 and this is 366 Days of Cards, Day 14. And I'm going to do a quick trick for you. I'll just do the package shuffle. Uh, a little bit off there. No big deal. I also want to take this moment to officially welcome the magician. Cryptic Magician and Magic Trick 6 to the Society of Magic World members now. Welcome aboard and have fun and make sure you subscribe to their channels and to Society of Magic and to anyone else who's a member of the Society of Magic. We unfortunately regrettably had to let go of a couple people, mainly Terrific Roy and Metallica Mega Def 11 because they have not been doing anything on YouTube in the last couple months. Hadn't been responding to any messages that I've sent them and they haven't posted anything at all on the society. So I decided to remove them. But we have about 12 members now. Pretty strong. Make sure you check out the channel. Some great tricks. Tutorials and deck reviews. Alright. So, pack is shuffled. What we're going to do is I'm going to pull out two helper cards. I'll use the two black jacks. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll set those down right there. And now I'm going to have a random card selected by the spectator. Let's say this one, the five of diamonds. I'm going to take that card, place it into the pack. And we'll lose it in the back. Give the back a few shuffles and cuts. Like so. Ah. Now I'm going to do I'm going to take this two white jacks. A jack of spades and a jack of clubs, and I'm actually going to lose them into the pack if they cut, just like so. When I'm going to take these cards right here, I'll flip them face up, and I'm going to shuffle them with these other face down cards, just like so. And all I'm going to do is just give the pack a quick cut, snap, but instantly only two cards are face up in the pack over here, hopefully you can see them. They are the two black jacks and they have caught one card, your selection. And that is a triple sandwich combo, I'll show you quickly how it's done, just in case you're wondering. <coughs> you can stuff off the cards however you want, it's totally uncomfortable. You can cut the cards. The spectator obviously can shuffle and cut the cards and it's better if they do because then they know you're not cheating or anything. Then you pull out two helper cards on this using the black jacks. And you have a card selected. In this case, it's the Queen of Hearts. You take it, lose it into the pack, supposedly, and control it to the top any way you like. There it is. And then I just did some false cuts. And a riffle shuffle. Just to keep them mixed up. Now you catch a break on the top card. Doing a wrist kill is a good idea. Take your two black jacks, steal a selection underneath them, peel off the one jack, then the other, maintain a break underneath them, and then double undercut them to the bottom. Then you take the portion of cards off the top, fan them out, you secretly flip this pack over, then you take these cards that are face up, 
and you shuffle them with what appears to be a face down pack of cards. Just a little table riffle, shuffle like that. You want to make sure that you leave these three cards on top. Then you just give the pack a quick cut, turn it over, snap, instantly all the cards are face down except for two, my two helper cards, which happen to have found your selection. It's a pretty simple trick, I like it. I just came across it in my huge stack of tricks today, and I figured might as well do it. And in case you're wondering, this is just part of all the tricks I have. Actually, it's like, there's other stuff in there as well, but there's a bunch of tricks in here. I have a huge folder of tricks, just stuff that I keep finding on Miss Meg's website, on YouTube. Every time I see a new trick that I don't have, where it's different, I take notes and save it for another day. A day like today, where then I pull a trick out and I do it for you. I hope you like that. Make sure you comment, rate, subscribe. Check out the Society of Magic and everyone on it, including the US members. And stay tuned. Tomorrow I will have 12 days of giveaways and I will be selecting Three cards, not these three, three cards from this deck. If one of them happens to be the card you named, you will qualify for this month's giveaway. And what that means is your name will be put into the draw at the end of the month. Whoever selects the cards that, whoever names the cards that I select. Also, for those wondering, I get a lot of requests about the Society of Magic. The Society of Magic is by invitation only. That means if we want you to be in Society of Magic, we'll let you know. And by we, I pretty much mean me. <laughs> and usually I look for people who I am friends with and I look at people who have a fair amount of subscribers, like 200 or more, and people who have been on YouTube for quite some time, six months, a year, two years, whatever, and are, you know, fairly established, and who regularly do videos and are reg regularly active on YouTube. So basically, we're not looking for beginners or newbies. We're looking for the best magicians on YouTube. So we can be your one-stop shop, your one place to find all the best magicians on YouTube on one channel. And that's what the Society of Magic has always been about and will always be about. And that is why we accept only certain individuals and why it's by invitation only. So, I know you get people asking on the Society of Magic and what's on my channel. Can it be in the Society of Magic? Well, the answer is, did I ask you? And if I didn't, don't be asking. <laughs> that, that's kind of the, the long and short of it. I hope you understand and nothing against anyone. I'm just trying to have the, the best and the, uh, the best magicians on YouTube and those that I can actually, you know, trust and that I know. Alright, I'll see you next time. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe.